Hey there, my name is Vitan, and it's time to play some more Doom 2, with Hell Reveals 2, Map 25, The End is Nigh. Let's lure the pinkies to the left so we can grab the shotgun, then basically ignore everything, and hopefully not die to the hitscan. Thing is, these shotgunners are guarding SSG, so if you can grab it quickly, that saves a bit of time. But you don't have to do this, it's it's pretty risky. I just like it, and I don't mind if I die 10 seconds into the map. Okay. Now we get to the slaughter section of the map, which is basically the entire map. We press this switch, grab the Megasphere and the Rocket Launcher. Let's try to get past the Arachnotrons, grab the BFG. Kill all these Arachnotrons in the next room. Because, as dumb as it sounds, we are not going to interact with any of these monsters here. It's so insanely crowded, there is just no reason to. Everything is going to infight with the free cyber demons. And I don't like it when the slaughter map does this. It's weird design. It's way more fun to just kill stuff yourself. But, that's just how it is. Luckily, in the next room, we do get to kill stuff. Kill all these pinkies and the imps with the BFG. And then let's swap to the rocket launcher to kill the barons. This map gives you plenty of ammo, so don't be too, uh, how do you call it, stingy. Alright, and then when we got close to this door, three archers will spawn, so just free fire. Hope that they behave. Nice. Then we turn this switch off. And deal with a bunch of revenants. All right. Grab some more cells. You can hear all the cyber demons uh, still in fight. Now we head outside again. But this time it's a bit more manageable compared to the first area that we skipped. Let's kill the Arachnotrons first so we have. Plenty of room to maneuver and dodge the cyber demon rockets. Okay, and let's take out the pendant mantles who are mostly harmless. Yeah, completely harmless this time around. Thing is, the first area has so many pendant mantles, you probably saw them. And well, the lost soul limit has been reached. That's uh, that's basically it. Then after killing the Arachnotrons, just spam the rocket launcher as this teleporter pad. Luckily it doesn't take too long. Because yeah, this isn't uh, too much fun. But I do like the map itself. I know I've been uh, complaining about a few things, but the map is fun. It just isn't really as hard as I expected it to be for map 25. And of course, no surprise, but the music is once again. Oh, chain gunner. Once again, great. I think that's everything. So let's move on. You won't be able to go back, at least not for now. So make sure that you have enough cells and maybe pick up the mega sphere if you need it. Now we get to this red door, the yellow door, and two doors that we can open. First, want to go here. Careful because the door will close, so don't blow yourself up with the rocket launcher. Okay, and there's some chain guns up here as well. Now, when you hit this switch, all walls are gonna lower and reveal like three or four archvals and some other monsters. I think three archvals. One of them is over here. I think one here and one here. So. Grab the BFG and quickly take them out, just like that. Okay, now we can move over here. Kill some more chain guns. Oh, they're all dead. Okay. Then we kill the Archfall there in the back with splash damage or blast damage. And when we move forward, 
these walls are gonna lower and reveal revenant but they can't come out of their little spots so once again you can simply use blast damage and take them out same on this side and I guess we can finish them off with SSG. Now I'm not gonna move forward too far. I do want to kill these enemies, especially the Archfile that's in the back. Where are you? Should be somewhere over there. Wait, seriously, where are you? Okay. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, nice. He never takes that long to uh, show himself. Before we move on though, let's head down. And kill these barons. It's a bit awkward. Of course this door closes as well. Maybe we should just grab the BFG. And do it like this. Two more barons over here. And one arachnid control. Okay, now we head back up. And when we cross, well, this line up here, many archers also spawn, like four in the area below us, and also one in this previous room. So we're gonna head back first, like this. Kill this guy immediately. And then, oh, take out this room from below. There should be two more. And yeah, if you don't do it like this, it's very, very risky. And I think there is one more even. Man, this Baron. Yep, there you are. No, don't trust the Baron. <laughs> Anything but that. Yeah, but we are fine. Yeah, if you jump down here and you don't know about the arch files, you will most likely just die to three or four blasts. Okay, let's heal up. Um, oh yeah, we didn't hit the switch yet. I should have done that immediately, but it's fine. This switch lowers the red key. So we can grab it and move through the red door where there are a bunch of Hell Knights. That basically just means that it's rocket launcher time again. Maybe... Man, I... I keep getting stuck against uh, the side of the door, that's... It, I'm lucky that I didn't die. There's medikits. Here. Alright, now this teleporter... First let's hit the switch. This teleporter brings us back to the first area. Where usually there's only the cyber demons left. Oh, one of them died, I think. Yeah, and all these lost souls. Plus pain elementals. And here we have a bunch of erectrons. We get so many cells that I'm just gonna take them out with the BFG. I do have to be careful that I don't die. But it's okay. Now, all that's left in this area are the cyber demons. Maybe a few imps as well. Let's see. And I know our health is really low, but we should be able to easily dodge those cyber demons. And they were pretty low. Then there's a bunch of imps over here. I think, yes. They always tend to get stuck. Is there anything over here as well? Oh, one imp, okay. And now it's time to move back, but we have to be careful because there is a cyber demon that spawns somewhere here. Okay. And he can open the door. 
Let's move past. Woo! Past him. Grab the megasphere that we left. Please come over here. Okay, there we go. That Sabi Demon is really scary because you saw that he can open the door. And I've had a few runs where he was just standing here. And, well, I just died instantly after teleporting. So he, he's scary for sure. Okay, now it's time to head to the yellow door. Right here. <laughs> Oh, that was a bad BFG hit. And also when you move forward, this guy will appear behind you. Oh, and you can't open this yellow door from the other side, by the way. So make sure that you kill the Baron before heading through. Now, we get a pretty evil trap. When you hit this switch, there's going to be many chain gunners, archfiles as well. So we have to pre-fire the BFG once again. Okay, that's that. Okay, nice. That went smoothly. And you can also hear a lot of Arachnotrons. Let's first kill the Chain Gunner still. Easily use the Rocket Launcher for that. Okay, I think they're all dead. Let's jump down and use the BFG. Kill the rest with the Rocket Launcher, I guess. Right, one more. Okay. Oh yeah, and over here is... <laughs> I don't even know, one very lonely zombie man in... It almost looks like a cubicle. I don't know, maybe it was... I don't know, I guess maybe it's an engineer. And these, these are like controls or something. But yeah, very surprising. Now, uh, what was I supposed to do? I think interact with this, and that opens the... No, wait. Could I interact with this? Yeah, oh yeah, these are controls that you interact with. I think I accidentally did that during my test run. But yeah, this reveals an arch file. Let's hit the switch. Oh. Uh, I think I'm doing this in a weird order. I'm confused. <laughs> Wait. Am I supposed to interact with this again? I guess so. Oh, I guess I just have to move up. Whoops. My bad. See, up here is another arch file. And we can grab the max ray as well. Why not? Then. When we grab the blue key, a Sabi Demon will appear. And many more Archfalls as well. Well, not that many, actually only two. And this guy, let's see, how am I gonna take him out? That was not the way I wanted to do it. Now I'm... Okay. Nice, we did it. That was, uh... <laughs> yeah, no comments. Okay, you have to hit this switch to load the elevator, but then... Joke's on you. When you try to go through, that pillar appears and you can lower it with this switch. So yeah, you have to kill the Cyber Demon. If you weren't going for all the items and uh, not items, but for all the kills already. Um, Is there any health? Okay, there is. But man, that Cyber Demon. Uh, I think it's also because I'm playing on software. When your screen turns red from taking a lot of damage, it's so hard to recover sometimes. Anyway, let's go for the blue door. And just spam the BFG here. There really isn't much to this at all. And then all that's left. Is this switch and that reveals revenants same thing 
Just use the BFG and everything will die. Oh. Now everything is dead. Okay. And that's the level. So, the end is nigh. I guess the map title is true. We're pretty far into the what? Map 25. This map isn't really that hard though. We've had many slaughter maps where, which were way worse. In Hell Revealed 1 as well. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna get much harder. Some traps were pretty evil, like... There were some uh, nasty archfall traps and some chain gunner traps as well. I completely messed up the cyber demon part, but besides that, yeah, the map is very doable. It is fun though, and yeah, slow map with good music. Uh, I'm always going to enjoy that, but I am kind of sad at how you skip like 200 almost of the enemies at the beginning, or may maybe like 150, where you just skip the first part and you don't even have to fight, you just let everything in fight. That's a bit sad to me. But oh well, see you in map 26 and thanks for watching.